Kim's Beauty from 10 Sigma. Welcome to episode 48 of Transition Tuesday. Today I'm going to talk about assistive technology. Right now I'm going to switch over to a short slide presentation to share this information. Assistive technology in a general sense means using devices for people with disabilities and it also includes the process in selecting, locating, and using these devices. According to IDEA 2004, each public agency must ensure that assistive technology devices or assistive technology services or both are made available to a child with a disability if required as part of the child's special education related services or supplementary aids and services. And on a case-by-case -case basis, the use of school purchased assistive technology devices in a child's home or in other settings is required if the child's IEP team determines that the child needs access to those devices in order to receive FAPE. IDEA 2004 also defines an assistive technology device as any item, piece of equipment, or product system, whether acquired commercially, off the shelf, modified, or customized, that is used to increase, maintain, or improve functional capabilities of a child with a disability. The only exception is medical devices that are surgically implanted or the replacement of such devices. IDEA 2004 also defines assistive technology service as meaning any service that directly assists a child with a disability in the selection, acquisition, or use of an assistive technology device. An assistive technology service includes an evaluation of the child's needs, purchasing, leasing, or otherwise providing for the acquisition of assistive technology devices for the child, selecting, designing, fitting, customizing, adapting, applying, maintaining, repairing, or replacing assistive technology devices, coordinating and using other therapies, interventions, or services with assistive technology devices, training or technical assistance for the child and family when appropriate, and training or technical assistance for professionals working directly or indirectly with the child. Here are some examples of low-tech assistive technology devices. Many times these devices are also listed under accommodations in the student's IEP. The use of pencil grips, slant boards, weighted vests, timers, Velcro picture calendar, colored overlays, rubber stamps, white or chalk boards for students' use, and correction tape. Here are some examples of high-tech assistive technology. Again, there are numerous options. Touch screens, software, apps, wands or sticks, screen enlargers, switches such as the big red switch, audiobooks, text-to-speech, audio note taker. With technology moving so fast, knowing about all different kinds of devices can be difficult. I always found that specialized staff such as occupational therapists, speech and language pathologists, audiologists, and the tech person in my building could provide information on different devices that my students might need. For today's bonus, I'll be sending you a PDF called A Special Education Guide to Assistive Technology. This PDF provides information on assistive technology assessment, choosing different devices, purchasing them, and how to train in using an assistive technology device or service. I'll also be sending you a link to a website, Assistive and Educational Technology Tools and Resources. This is from textmatrix.org. This is a site where you can go in and based on your criteria, you can look at information about different assistive technology devices. Thank you for 
watching the video. I hope you use this information to help your students. Be sure to check your email for the bonus we just sent over. If this is the first time you've ever seen an episode of Transition Tuesday, click the link below to receive the bonus. Be sure to like and share the video and leave your comments or suggestions for a future episode of Transition Tuesday. Have a great week. See you next Tuesday.